Hi everyone, Saski here from Lucentia's Guinea Pig Rescue and I'm going to match up some boys today. We have our festival coming up this weekend and we're only going to do um, bonded pair adoptions. So I need to make more pairs because we have tons of single boys and no pairs. And I thought, wow, that's just a perfect opportunity to make some bonding videos because I've only think ever done one. Um, so let's go and do that. So. What do you think, Urs? Which one? So we. Um, well, we have. And it's cleaning day today. It's a Thursday. It's cage cleaning day. Cage cleaning day. So the cages are clean. The floors are not yet. <laughs> well, some have been here for a long time, like sushi. Sushi. But there's a reason because he's uh he's 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 pretty aggressive. Hey Jonah, let's do Jonah. Yes, Jonah just finished his ringworm treatment. Yeah, he's good to go now. To so go. let's do Jonah. We also have, um, we have Pete. Who's the four months old? Pete. Maybe five. Okay, let's do Pete. And this Tarquin, I love Tarquin. He was never fed any hay. So this is all new to him and no veggies. He's already gained about 100 grams since he arrived here which has only been a week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's doing really good. Okay. So, Pete and Jonah. Hi, pretty. Hi, pretty. Hello. Yeah, but then uh, let's do two more, because, you know, we never know if that's going to be a match. We need to have a backup. Harvey. We also have a Porter, who's a year old. Harvey is still a mess. Yeah. And Jorge. He's breathing pretty hard. Jorge and... Jorge. Jorge. And Porter. Jorge. Jorge. Jorge actually was bonded with um, Pete. And they unbonded. And they need some hay, these guys, huh, Macho? Yeah, they haven't gotten We can try Macho as well. Macho. Okay, let's grab my first pigs and then let's get on with it. Okay, Jonah is in there. Then I've got what I need for bonding, which is veggies. That's what they'll get. And, uh,. There's Tarquin. Let's put him in. Here we go. Let the circus begin. So I'm going to give some running commentary here. So far, so good. Ah, okay, here we go. So, you can hear the little purring that little Jonah's doing. And that is completely normal. They all do that, and they will vibrate their little bodies when they do it as well. Ooh. He comes on very strong, doesn't he, that little dude? So the Tartan wants a little, that little hump as well. And he's rubbing his butt, kind of scent glands over there that he rubs onto the floor. Oh, you're making a lot of noise. And I can already tell that Jonah obviously is a young, very hormonal male. And uh, Tarquin, he is uh, he's pretty chill. He's doing really good. He's a very chill, chill dude. Which is good. That's what you kind of want in a bonding. You, want, you can have one that's very high strung and then have one that's... Um, you know, like him, just very chill. Yeah, and we don't get a lot of those, which, and we like them because it's, they're kind of usually easier to bond than the ones that are all over the place and just want to hump all day long. So this is what happens when you put them together for the first time. They go a little crazy and they just like, you know, just uh, want to hump and say hi and chase and sniff and you know, and this is all good, and there is no aggression going on here. It's just 
boys doing what they do and Tarquin is actually getting well, a little fed up yeah a little bit he's like you know what I think I've already said hi to you I don't I don't need you saying hi more than what you have already done so <laughs> So at this point then, when you have two like this, the key is that Tarquin is not going to get upset enough for him to start saying to the other guy, hey, enough, back off, and turn around and kind of show him that kind of aggression because then Jonah, the little dude, can also respond back with aggression. So let's hope that he can sit it out until Jonah calms down. So it could go either way right now, because he's looking very, he's getting a little pissed off, really. He's not very happy. He's saying, uh, you know, he's talking. Like, buddy, I don't know about you. I think you're okay, but, you know, you're becoming very annoying now. So, and then the food. Let's see if little Jonah is going to want to stop and have a little bite because that tells me also that he's a little closer to calming down, wanting to calm down a minute. Or if he's going to completely ignore the food. Oh, and he's eating. This is great. Tarquin, you want some too? Hey, I wish all piggies were as, as easy as you to bond. Yeah. And where are you? What are you doing now? Well, if this, uh, <laughs> this, this is almost like the fastest bonding uh, ever. This is looking really, really, really good. And that is all because of Tarquin. Because he is being a very chill dude. I would almost venture to say you might be a booty pig. And a Buddha pig is, of course, the pigs that the boy pigs that are not really faced by anything. They don't really get too upset. They don't get too crazy when you just put them in with another male. Usually, they just go a little bit of cuckoo and start running around and get all excited and start humping and sniffing and going around circles and um, and that's a normal behavior. And then the ones that are not really that faced that can kind of you know uh, are a little a little bigger than that. They uh, that's the Buddha pigs. And there's not many of them. But when you do have a Buddha pig, it's a beautiful thing because you can match them up with absolutely everyone. Anyone. And if you have a Buddha pig and you find another couple of Buddha pigs, they can all happily live together like my voice, like the Buddha voice. But he might still get upset because he's getting he's getting pretty upset with Jonah. And Jonah still motorboating, going at it. Hi Louise, <laughs> that's a lot of noise. And as we know, guinea pigs don't like big noise so much. Wow. You know, and so the other thing is because Tarquin actually has absolutely zero interest to go say hi to him. He's like, you know what, yeah, you know, you're okay, yeah. And he has, does not want to go say hi, and that is another hallmark of a Buddha boy. 
Ooh, Jonah, you're pushing it. You're really pushing it. And that's a typical younger male for you, Jonah. I get super excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so excited. I'm going a little crazy. And that's exactly what he's doing. But I would say that pretty much, you know, we'll have to leave them together and see how they do. But I have a feeling that after 10 minutes, Jonah's going to calm down a little bit and and they will be able to be together. I think this might just actually work really well. Yeah. How about a little cucumber? Come on, Chips. Jonah, you look in trance. Wake up, little guy. <laughs> Wake up, little guy. Jonah came with a big group that was surrendered. They all let ringworm, and uh, all the females are still with us on pregnancy hold. Those will be his little sisters. Well, I'm gonna say that this is uh, looks really, really, really good. And uh, in a in a bonding, we normally um, we normally let this run for another 10 minutes. But I'm pretty sure I feel confident enough to to call it. So let's move on. It was a great success. Let's move on to the next. Okay, I'm back with Pete. And I got this guy here, Macho. Now, um, this is there because you will, you don't ever, ever, ever want to put your hand in between two male guinea pigs that are fighting, or any guinea pigs, female, male, doesn't matter. It's because you will get bitten because they do not, you know, know the difference between you at that point or the other guinea pig. Even though they don't want to bite you, they will, and they bite hard too. So, all right, little Pete who apparently is a bit of a troublemaker and Mathieu. So I'm going to take this out and let's see. Oh, not good. They're starting immediately with nail, nail chattering. Uh, I mean, teeth chattering. That's like an immediate, and, and not even Pete, it was it was this guy, it was Macho who started, like right off the bat. He's being very aggressive, as you can see. Because that teeth chattering, that's, that's, an aggress that's an aggression thing. You can see his hair is off on the, on the back of his neck. That's very aggressive. And I think he's actually kind of, Pete is a little, a little bit scared of him. Because Pete's running. Oh, Macho, you are something else. He really is a bit of a aggressive monster, monster pig. Hey, buddy, calm down. It's amazing how they all have their, their, their personalities and the personality they have with you is often not the personality that they will have with other guinea pigs. So yeah, Pete is kind of running. He's kind of like, hmm, not very happy. But a little scared. You can hear the little sounds he's making, Pete. Those are not aggressive sounds. Those are men I'm really uncomfortable and I'm not quite happy with this situation. And he feels a little bullied. So again, the problem is gonna come when Pete decides that 
he's had enough of the bullying and actually takes a stance against Mathieu. And that, when that happens, they will fight within a heartbeat, like in half a second. The minute that little Pete is going to show any aggression toward Mathieu, Mathieu will jump on him. He's almost waiting for him to give him that opportunity, give him the reason. Like, give me the reason, I want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and little guy saying, eh, you know, I'm not going to give you any reason. Just going to be, you know, I'm careful and just. But this is definitely not going to be as easy as the other two. Troublemaker. You see how his hair is still up? Oh, hi, Pete. Is he not being nice to you? Ooh. So, you see that? How Pete almost thought, you know what, I'm just gonna bump your nose and tell you to back off and then change his mind because, and he was anticipating it. He was like, yeah, come on, do it. <laughs> you guys, I can read you like a book. I know what you're up to, but I can't predict the future, so I don't know how this is going to end. Because Pete might all of a sudden feel really brave, and he's going to try and want to teach Macho a lesson. All well, that is when we'll have a problem. So I'm putting some food in just to take the edge off a little bit, so they can eat a little bit and just not feel as as stressed out or and just you know it'll change the energy as well we'll change the energy up a little bit and if you only just stop complaining for a minute while you're eating and just take a breath oh he's not happy that Pete came so close see that he's uh oh Pete don't do it just stay right there Oh, uh, don't get too close, Pete. Oh, maybe. Ooh, now, did you hear that? That was the snorting that Pete did. Now that, we don't hear that very often at all. And that was definitely a little snorting that he did. He gave like three, three snorts. And that's, again, that's uh, aggression. Oh, and there he is. He's yawning, but he's not yawning. He's not sleepy. He was just showing his teeth. Like, look, I got big teeth. Because guinea pigs actually don't yawn. They just show their teeth. So you were you were saying that Pete is a is a bit of a problem child, right? No. Oh, it's Mathieu. No. Oh yes, I can see that. Look he, at him. He's okay actually. He's he's okay as long as nobody bothers him. Oh. Pete is actually kind of cool. Yeah. He's a little nervous though. Yeah. Because Mathieu is like he, he, he's relentless. He is relentless. It actually might be a good match just because Pete is not an aggressor. Right. But he doesn't. Yeah, but I was just explaining that if Pete decides to only show one ounce of exactly, aggression yes. to Macho, because he's waiting for the opportunity to go mm -hmm. pounce and have a good, good old fight, 
So, and, and he's smart. Little Pete knows that he's got a... Well, Pete was bonded with Jorge. And they broke up because Jorge was chasing him in circles in the cage. And Pete was very, very scared. Oh. Well, then this might not be a good match then. It's almost like he's a little bit um, scarred. Aww. Well, then pairing him with a boy who's going to be chasing around all the time, possibly, might not be good for him. Well, let's, you know, we'll see. We should give it some time, though, because he's a little more... He's older, Matthew, and he might give in a little sooner than his... Well, he's, he's calmed down already, which, yeah. you know, was, was faster. He's calming down faster than, than a younger male would have, because That's, they probably I would think, have just yeah. one of the equal kind of aggression level that he has. They, they would have been, you know, more aggressive a little longer. And as you can see how his hair has gone down, his hair on his back is now more smooth. Well, as I say that, his hair just went back up. <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell. Oh, nose to nose. Look at that. Oh. That's so funny. Guinea pigs are so funny. This is definitely yeah. different than the last one. And they're oh. so intricate. It's so intricate. They're so funny. I'm amazed that I haven't had to jump in yet in here and uh, separate them at some point. Oh, you know, and there, there might be also people that are thinking like at this point, like, oh my gosh, you're being so mean to my guinea pig. The other guinea pig, right? Like, oh no, come here, baby. I want to protect you. But, you know, no, this is, this is normal. This is absolutely normal. And you just have to let that run its course. Because if you separate them and, and then try to put them back to, you know, it's just, it doesn't work. You just got to do it and have it done. Just do it and do it. So the, the other thing about the other thing about bonding is that you read lots of little different bonding techniques and one of them is to give him all a buddy bath. So that, that is a very popular one. Yep, you give him a buddy bath, you put them all together in the bath and, and then you stick them together in a box and then I've even heard one where they didn't just go take them for a ride in the car. So it's like the scary experience will make them bond and I can tell you that that 100% does not work it does not work it might work for bunnies but it doesn't work for guinea pigs they couldn't care less about any of that so that is not the way to uh, to bond piggies and you know what the other thing is if they don't want to be bonded there's nothing you can do to make it happen it's just about recognizing if it could possibly be a bond, if it's a good bond, and keeping them together and recognizing when it for sure is not working and then removing, you know, and trying again with another. And then the other, uh, there's another one that is uh, where you're putting them next to each other, divided, but they're kind of living next to each other. So you want to keep them like that for a week or so and then take away the divider and then they should be all hunky-dory. And, and, you know, they're not because... Which is what is fascinating about guinea pigs is that they will respond as if they have never seen each other before. Like they don't even know each other, right? So you take that divider away and immediately you're going to see the same behavior that we just watched in the beginning of this bonding. Exactly the same. It's like, man, you would never know that you guys live together already for a while because... And he's still talking away. Wow, do you see that little fly there? Right on his eye. See that? Wow. Go away. Well, it is a horse ranch here, guys. It is a horse ranch. But we don't like those for the guinea pigs. Tell you that. That is a... And he's not even bothered. That's not a normal fly. That's some other kind of fly. Hi. Yeah. Okay, there, 
out of that way. That's not good. Anyway, they have calmed down a lot. Yeah, they have. They have calmed down a lot, and they are actually, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing right now. But I'm still going to wait. We're going to have them just to hang out and chill for a little longer before we're going to call this one. So we'll be back in a bit. Let's give them a break. So looks like uh, Macho just got a second wind. He just, well, you know what, then the paper flew by and he stopped, but he was just going a little crazy for a minute there. But, as you can see, his hair is down. So he's no longer feeling that, that Pete is a, is a threat, which is wonderful. So he's calmed down a lot. He's feeling a lot happier. He's definitely not. And, oh yeah, earlier they were just both next to each other, face to face, eating from that cucumber. So that, that was really, really nice to see. And the sound that, that Macho is making now is no longer that kind of aggressive and the chattering. He's just, he's kind of talking. And you know how they're sharing? I mean, it's, it's good. Pete's no longer really that scared of him. And this looks good. Very happy. All right, a little more time though. Leave them a little longer together. All right, we're back and oh, I think we have a match. Yes, we do. So I think that's going to stick, but you never know. You know, you never know. So when you just make a match, you want to keep them together and you want to just observe, okay? I, you, you, I don't want you to do a match and then after 15 minutes say, oh, this is awesome, and then go shopping. So you want to kind of stay and observe them because anything can still go wrong. It's it's not easy. You know, matching guinea pigs always say is like a science, really. And girls are, of course, much easier than the boys. Now, here is I want to show Jonah and Matthews, uh, 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 Tarquin, I'm sorry. And Tarquin's new house, and they're like doing awesome. Oh, they're both in there. Oh, there you are. He's a yeah. little Jonah, Jonah's a little skittish, yeah. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Let's see. There he is. Okay, little guy. <laughs> you got a friend now. Yeah. Hey, Tarquin. So these two are doing really, really good. So I'm very happy about that. So I'll be doing more bonding videos because I really enjoy doing them. People tell me that they love them, that it really helps. So I'll be doing more. Okay? Thanks all for watching.